a soy machine's tension. One of the things people struggle with, maybe because they're not using a nice quality thread, that number one can make an issue with your soy machine. It hasn't been cleaned lately. You don't have the proper needle in. There's so many different things that probably need to be fixed first before you start adjusting tension. I know tension gets blamed for a lot of things. So what you're looking for when you're sewing is that whatever thread you have in your bobbin, it shows on the back and whatever thread you have in your needle shows on the front. So right now I have two different colors of thread. So what is our tension? Where do we alter it? Actually, you're gonna go into your tools right here and it's the very first thing. So right now we're on a straight stitch. So the thread tension is 4.6. If I needed to increase or decrease it, we're gonna be using our arrows left or right to go up or down. Now notice that it starts at 4.6 and goes up to 4.8. Okay. 0.2 change of tension is not very much. So if you are actually gonna change the tension, I would recommend that you change it a whole number's worth. So if we're starting at 4.6, I'm gonna change it to 3.6 or 5.6. Give it a good change and see if that's actually going to make the difference. Is that the problem in the first place? Because if you keep changing it and nothing changes on your fabric, well, maybe it's not tension. Maybe it's one of the other things that we just talked about. But let's go ahead and I'm going to go out of tools and I'm going to go down and pick a buttonhole. So stitch number zero here. Now let's look at tension. Well, it's not at the 4.6, now it's 2.4. So though this machine has what I would call automatic tension, meaning it will set your tension for the stitch you picked, so get you into a range that doesn't fix everything. So no machine knows what thickness of thread you have in your needle and in which one you put in your bobbin. If they're different, you're going to have to change the tension. And so the idea is that you want it balanced. So if we are, stitching, let's just go back to, for example, a zigzag. If we're stitching a zigzag, traditionally we want the stitches to pull to the back just a little bit actually. That is the perfect setting. So let's see here. Okay, so green thread on the top. A well, <laughs> you can barely see. What we want to see is a little tiny green dot, and we do, it's pretty small, but the green dot does show on the back side. We want it to pull to the back. Let's see what tension actually is. Still 4.6, because that's a standard setting there. Okay, but for example, decorative stitches, let's go up to our stitch menu. Let's just hop down to the first decorative stitch. What's the tension there? It's three, so a little bit less than where we are, because we do want, for decorative stitches, we want those stitches to pull to the back side so they look really pretty on the top side. So by loosening the top tension, that bobbin becomes tighter and actually does the work for us. So we act, it's just that cool. Now, if you're finding some stitches that are pulling to the back and you don't want them to pull to the back, maybe you've got some heavier thread, you are gonna need to increase the tension. So going up to a higher number. All right, so here's the pretty stitch. Now remember we have dark thread in our bobbin. Do you see any dark thread? No, we see green thread on the back side because it was pulled to the back side. When you have less numbers on the top, the bobbin is a set number. So that is actually gonna always be what it is. So if you loosen it from its normal at the, on the top, then the bobbin team wins and pulls everything to the back side. Same with a buttonhole. When we do buttonholes, we, the tension is less on the top, uh, quite a bit less, and that's because we want the buttonhole top to look the prettiest and it pull to the back side. You're gonna notice that also with embroidery. That's gonna also change the tension for you. So let the machine kind of get you into the right ballpark for the stitch you pick, and then if your threads are way different, then you will need to adjust it, and now you know where to do it.